guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a zombie wave system in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the free models in the description and let's get started. So I'm first going to quickly show you what it looks like. So we spawn in at our map and I made like a little hill here. Wave 1 starting, zombies can spawn at any of these four spawns and there's also different types of zombies. So there's a normal zombie, there's a red zombie, there's also a purple zombie which has the most health. You can also make them bigger than the other ones if you want. And they will follow you and they can climb. And I'm added, I think it's four ways. There we go, wave ended. And I think there's another one. Okay, this is the final wave. So there's gonna be more zombies this time. Every new wave, it adds two extra zombies. There we go. And the wave will end once you've killed all the zombies. And after all the waves have been completed, it will say game ended and that's it. So I'm going to show you how you can add more zombies and more spawns. So once you've ungrouped everything in the model, then these are the different spawns. You can make them transparent so you can make them invisible if you want. So to add more spawns, you just duplicate these and put them where you like. I'll put one on this hill. One there, there, and there. And you can also add some. I'm gonna just quickly make some more for this map. Make another little hill. Okay, there we go. And your map does not have to be the same as my one. I just made this one just for like, just because it's like the zombie game. So like that, and then we'll add a way for the zombies to climb. There we go. Okay, so that's how you add more zombie spawns. You can also add more of your spawn locations. I'll just leave that there. So there are different zombies are in here. This folder, so we can bring it into workspace. So I've got the normal zombie. I think this is a rare zombie and epic. So this one has got the most health. To make more, just duplicate it. And then I'm gonna change the color of this one. So body colors, I'll make it blue, bright blue. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, so now we have a blue zombie. We also have to change, I think there's like sparkles in here. Let me just find it somewhere in here. Okay, yeah, there's, there's smoke, you can also change the color of that. To blue, and then there's also a light which will make blue. So let's check if that's good. Okay, I think there's some more. Oh yeah, the sparkles. Let's make that blue. There we go, so we have our nice blue zombie. You can move it over here. And go to the human and change the max health. I'll change that to 300. Then you have to change the health to 300. You have to change your max health first. And we'll change this to legendary zombie and i'm going to copy this name we can put this back in server storage and then the zombie rarity script put in your zombie name and then the like chance the percentage chance that you, that it has of spawning but this is this must all equal up to 100 percent. so it all adds up to 100 so now i'm going to show you how to add more waves and also if you want to change like the damage that the gun does can just get this and i i didn't make this the script by the way i just got this from the toolbox you can change the the, the damage there let's drag that back to starter pack so now for the different waves you can change everything here just leave current wave as one 
and then the zombies spawn them out this is how many will spawn extra for each wave so the first wave will have two uh oh no no the first wave will have four i'm pretty sure no no first one will have two next wave will have four then six then eight so on and then here's the time in between waves to when you could like give the player time to like heal up or something uh so change the waves here so if i change it to five this would be five waves time between waves you can increase that zombie spawn amount so let's say the first wave i want it to spawn with four zombies so it's going to increase by four zombies every single wave let's actually quickly change the damage of the gun let's set it to 50 just so that it's easier to kill them wait uh, there's a spawn up there okay let's go up on this one okay let's see if i get that uh legendary blue zombie I did get it, I did get it. Okay. I'm only killing them really easily because I increased the damage on my gun. You can change it for your game. And also if you want the player to like teleport to like the lobby and the map, then you can use my my map voting system. Uh, and then, but if you're an advanced script, it will be easier to do it because you know how to like make all this work after you get teleported and then you get teleported back and all of this gets deactivated again. It's kind of complicated, but if you can figure it, wait, where's the map? Yeah. If, if you can figure it out, then that's good. So yeah, this is all and it works for multiplayer, so let's just quickly test it. Okay guys, so here, I'm in the game and I'm playing it with the other guy, or well, me basically, and it works, but I can't really control two people at the same time. There we go. And also the GI is a bit off screen because I haven't scaled it for all devices. So now there's another wave coming. No! There we go. So yeah, it works for multiplayer. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Bye guys.